everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tracy, so I'm really excited to bring you guys another tutorial. Um, this top was actually highly requested through my TikTok. I didn't get to film the making of this top, so I'm just gonna upcycle something else I already have, and I hope you guys can recreate it, and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Grab whatever you're going to upcycle. I'm just removing the sleeves and the neckline, and always cut out the side seams so you can just get the most use out of the fabric. I'm taking the front piece and just squaring off the hem. Trim away the excess fabric. To find the length of the halter, just take your bust measurement, divide it by two, and add four inches. Square that measurement all the way down. Trim away the excess. Now that you have a rectangle, we're gonna split this in two separate pieces, one for the top of the halter and one for the bottom band. Take the measurement from the top of your bust all the way to the bottom of your under bust. My measurement was six inches and you wanna add an inch and a half for seam allowance and your tunnel. So I'm just squaring off a seven and a half by 19 rectangle for the top of the halter. Now for the under bust band, just take your under bust measurement and divide it by two and add two inches for a seam allowance. My under bust measurement is 30, so if I divide that by two, I get 15 and add two inches for a total of 17. And then you want to decide the width of your under bust band. I decided to just go ahead and make mine about five inches. Now that you have both rectangles cut out, fold the top of the halter in half and take away a half an inch from the bottom of that rectangle. So place your ruler a half inch down from that fold and then pivot it up to the corner and cut away. And repeat this step to the top of the underbus band. I'm overlocking my straight edges just so I have a cleaner finish. Finally for the sewing, um, fold over a quarter inch at the hem of the underbus band and put pins and fold over a quarter inch as well on the sides of the top of the bus band and put pins. And take them to your straight stitch machine and just do a top stitch. There's no need for a double needle because this area doesn't need to stretch as much. Stitch along the bottom of the bust band and set your sewing machine to the longest stitch length and don't back tack so you can gather this. Pull the back thread and gather. Gather it in between the inch seam allowance on each side of your under bust Pin right sides together and do a quarter inch stitch all the way down. I like to baste my pieces together just so it's easier to sew a gather. I take mine to the overlocker and overlock a quarter inch. You can just do a quarter inch straight stitch on your regular sewing machine. After sewing both pieces together, Fold the top of the bust an inch and a half down and pin. At the under bust side seam, just fold that inch seam allowance in and pin it down on both sides. Do a straight stitch along the edges. Just stitch 5 eighths of an inch seam allowance at the sides of your under bust. Top of the bust, stitch down the very edge of the fold. You're stitching that first row. Measure a half an inch away and stitch another row. This will be the channel for the straps. After stitching the half inch tunnel, you'll see you have a big opening and a smaller opening. Stitch down the bigger opening. 
With the scrap fabric, I just made spaghetti. If you need an in-depth tutorial, just watch my last video. Take your spaghetti and place a safety pin at the end of it. Feed it through the top of the halter channel. Even out the straps on both sides. Thread the straps diagonally so you get a cross back halter and just feed each strap through the side seam channel and to finish your ends just do a knot so you have a little tassel this is the final top and i'm finally back in new york city Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.